Thank you Spin Master and Bakugan for sponsoring this video. With a free trip opportunity to a sneak peek Bakugan event of Bakugan Armored Alliance. Oh my goodness, Squirrel! We are at a special Spin Master Bakugan event. What happened to you? You look all stiff. I accidentally fell into a plastic mold making vault, okay? Come on, let's check out everything we did. Okay, sounds like a lot of fun. Squirrel Stampede. Please, Squike. Baku Squirrel! Brawl! And here we are flying into sunny Los Angeles for a all new Bakugan Armored Alliance sneak peek event. Only a few whale squirrels today. We kicked off the event by meeting all sorts of awesome Bakugan people, players, and talent. Walking the halls at Spin Master was like walking the halls of pretty potted plants and skylights. Then we were walked into this very fancy Bakugan showroom. Don't stare too closely to the giant Bakugan ball. Inside we learned the history of Bakugan and how they are designed. Then we saw a very fantastic demonstration on all the new Bakugan Armored Alliance toys with a Baku gear. Plus some other really crazy samples and future things. Then it was that time for all of us to open up our samples given and card packs for an exclusive Bakugan Brawl tournament. I was pretty much out of the league experience level of everyone there, so I chose to step aside from the tournament, keeping my toys freshly packed until today. Oh hey, look who also was invited! Voice actors for Magnus and Winton, Julius Cho and Devin Mack, and we even got to watch them play a few games. Good to see the voice actors know what they're playing with and enjoy it. This table here features a ton of toys from Bakugan Armored Alliance. So many epic characters to collect, and so much Baku gear to magnetize onto their backs. The Bakugan Brawl Tournament bracket was revealed, and some very tight matches from some very talented players were immediately drawn. It was going to be intense. <laughs> Then it was time to play three very intense rounds of Bakugan Brawl. So much to see and learn. My favorite part, watching them pop open in slow motion. Gameplay went on strong, but in the end there was two left. Jet Kuso and Phoenix Knight went to the final round. And Jet pulls the win, I think. It took me a few minutes to be sure as gameplay was so professional to everyone, making the tournament very enjoyable to watch. With that, the event wrapped up and everyone started to head home. Now we can finally open up our toy squirrel and see what Spin Master gifted us. We can start with this Pegatrix Ultra with Baku Gear. I know, exciting, right? With Season 2 all-new designed Bakugan with Baku Gear that attaches on, they've really leveled up the look of these toys. On the back of the box, we have a great image of a Heos Pegatrix Ultra. Includes one Bakugan Ultra, one Baku Gear, two Baku Cores, one Ability Card, one Character Card, one Instruction Sheet, and one Bakugan Toy Battling Rules Sheet. And of course, all your favorites will be available once again for Season 2, freshly redesigned for Armored Alliance. Well, Squirrel, let's finally, finally open up this pack that somehow wasn't damaged on the flight home. And Pegatrix Ultra out of the box, finally able to up the horn on its head. That's got to feel good after being stuck in the box on the plane for so long. Well, what a fancy, awesome looking Bakugan toy. Now remember, I'm mostly novice level on this. I've always enjoyed Bakugan for the core toy transforming elements of what they can do. Of course, after the event that I saw this week, I am really tempted to start playing. Season 2 features Baku gear, and I believe it should just click on to its back. And that was even easier done than said. Plus, we have two more side pieces we can add on. For now, a fully armored Bakugan Pegatrix Ultra. Make it into a ball! Make it into a ball! I was worried you were going to say that, Landry, and now I have to figure out how to get into a ball form. Luckily, each Bakugan Ultra does have instructions for reforming. We have 11 steps with this one. Although, on the other hand, sometimes it's just best to toss the instructions aside and become one with your Bakugan Sphere. Let's see if we can get this into a roly-poly. Okay. 
okay, that might have been the most easiest Bakugan Ultra I've ever reformed. I like this Pikachix Ultra. Notice as well we have our faction symbols placed on these now, and we'll see if we can give it a roll onto a Bakugan and pop out. I think I got two shield Bakugans with this one. Let's give it a roll, see if we can get it to pop open. This is where I really need to practice. There we go! And Pikachu has popped open! Another real cool gifted item they gave for this weekend is a special Bakugan game port bad. I don't even know what that is. A game port bad? What? What did I say? A professional playing surface mat. It helps a hundred times more on those soft foamy pads than playing on a hard tabletop. So seek something like that out if you're a hard school gamer. So you can see Pegatrix had popped out and there's a few elements that we have to do ourselves. The wings, pull out farther, the horn again, and the feet. To go full Pegatrix Ultra. Also in the pack we have our Pegatrix Ultra card and our Baku Gear card, Heyo Bracers, Baku Gear. Well, Pegatrix Ultra, you are a very worthy start for Armored Alliance. The next toy to be seen is an Aquas Hydrus. I think I always favor the blue, so this was a welcome Bakugan. There we have Hydrus again. Includes one Bakugan, two Bakukors, one character card, and one collectible training card, plus others out there available for Armored Alliance. And let's tear open. And Hydrus out of the box. And I don't believe that difficult to get back into ball form. Let's give it a shot. Probably just fold these legs around, squish in the back, and uh, uh oh, we've got a head problem. If there's always a problem, you could pop back out. Or not. He's stuck. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Get that head in there. Ah, I think we got him. We got him. Oh, now a leg's popping out. Didn't I say these were easier? Okay, there we go. We got him. And in ball form. Gotta really practice my rolling techniques, if I have any technique. There's our faction symbol. Not a bad little Hydrus. Here's our character card. And these come with a collectible training card. And to roll and pop, let's just kind of drop on to our Baku core. Maybe better just roll. Come on, buddy. You can do it. He doesn't want to. He's very shy. Oh, there we go. And popped open. But a nice small-scale Bakugan to look at. Last but not least, the largest pack of Bakugan Armored Alliance, the Bakugan Starter Pack with Dragonoid Ultra, Trox and Hydrus. Funny how Dragonoid Ultra looks in Ventus Green. On the back of the box, the Ventus Dragonoid Ultra, a Pyrus Trox. Always like Trox. And this time a Darkus Hydrus. Mm -hmm. Yes, a Darkus. These starter packs include one Bakugan Ultra, two Bakugans, six Bakukors, three ability cards, three character cards, one collectible training card, one instruction sheet, and one Bakugan toy battling rules sheet. Perfect for getting you going. Also perfect for how am I possibly going to open this? Well, let's give it a try. And out of the box with the three starter characters. I will say there's no Baku gear with these starter packs. So if you want Baku gear, stick with the Bakugan Ultra packs. Those are probably going to be the most collect worthy of these toys. Again, Dragonoid Ultra in green looks kind of strange, but that is what you're going to see for the new Dragonoid Ultra from season two. And of course, Hydra's Darkus is hiding. And there is Trox, I think half open. There we go. He kind of popped halfway while opening the pack. Lots of reading materials with this pack. We have our Bakugan training guide. We have our Trox character card. We have our Dragonoid Ultra card. A Pyru Cannon card. A Dark Daggers card. A Baku Mortar. Oh, there's our Hydorus Darkus card. We have a Winton Styles training card. And I got to meet Devin Mack, the voice actor from this character. He was such a nice guy. Also does some voices from Dragomuns. So he is my new best friend. And of course, some instructions on Dragonoid Ultra. Let's see if we can get him into a ball. Surprisingly a little more simple than some of the things from Season 1. And now to test out the roll. Got a ton of Bakugors included with the starter pack. There we go. There we go. So cool to watch him pop and spring out. 
So those were the toys they handed out for the Bakugan Brawl tournament we were in. We also got some Armored Elite card packs. So let's open a few of those real quick, see what we can find inside. This is something I never really did when I first started collecting the toys last year. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. Like there's a Heyo Crescent, is that how you say it? A Ventu Smashers, a Baku Mortar, a Heyo Bracers, a Ventu Channeler, a Pyru Cannon, a Dark Water Ambush, that's kind of a cool card. Fade Ninja Baku Rider, a Crystallize, an Entropic Tooch. <laughs> Oh wait, Entropic Touch. Oh, and finally a, uh, oh, just how to learn how to play at Bakugan.com. Let's try another pack here. Okay, Focus Fire. Get in a little closer. Cosmetic Fireball. Oh, Cosmic Fireball. Lightning Wing. The artwork on these is so amazing. Wing Arrow. Prism Blast. Oh, there's that one again that I had a hard time saying. Leon Winton. Oh, I like the character cards. Watery Deflection, that's cool. Honey Trap. I like Honey Trap, that's funny. And Entropic Touch again. And another How to Play card. Let's do one more of these if I can find where it is. Oh, it's under here. Okay, Cosmic Fireball again. Lightning Wing. Wing Arrow. Prism Blast. A lot of these are repeating themselves. Must be for the game. Ooh, a Pegatrix Ultra. There we go. Baku Evolved. And a Pegatrix video star. <laughs> that makes me laugh. That's pretty funny. And it's cool that we have Pegatrix here. So I'm starting to collect some Pegatrix cards. Hyper Pegatrix. More Pegatrix cards. Hyper Dragonoid Ultra. Okay, that looks pretty neat. I don't know if it's great or not, but I think it's cool. And there we go. So I've got a lot more card packs to open up and figure out. As for other handouts given, we are given these very cool Bakugan card boxes. My kids have already stuck one of the stickers on the front and back. Wow, that's tight. And we can place our cards inside and our Bakugan. So that's a really cool little extra they gave us. And if you might have noticed earlier, there was faction pins, which was funny because they were in a Bakugan bag they gave us and I didn't even notice until I got home. So that was a pretty cool gift. Again, the gameplay surface pad was great. This thing will really lay out the game really well for you. You can place all your Baku cards in the center and roll out for a great game. A few shirts and a tournament jersey was fun. And the most important thing, Bakugan socks. That's right, they gave us Bakugan Armored Alliance socks. This is probably the funniest, coolest handout I've ever seen. All the uh, uh, factions are on there. This is just hilarious. Uh, and I guess if you wanted to, you could use these as um, cases. Um, you could put all your Bakugan stuff inside these for storage. Um, a soft case, if you will. That's pretty good. It fits, fits these guys just how you'd want. So you can use them as socks or cases. <laughs> Way to go. So that's pretty much... Oh, there's one more thing. I forgot. I almost forgot. A Bakugan Deca prototype. Oh, this is so cool. This is unpainted, and what this was kind of for was for the kids or just people sitting aside from the tournament when we weren't playing to take one of these and use uh, Sharpies and uh, decorate ourselves. So I might have to do that in the coming weeks. This is just so cool. I love the fact that it's unpainted yet. Who is this guy, by the way? I think it's one of the new characters. It's a feral, or a feral, feral. Egyptian Bakugan-like. There we go. Um, there we go. Oh, that was such a cool extra. So that's most of the gear they sent us home with. Oh wait, there's even more. There's some stickers and some tattoos. Uh, just a lot of really fun things. Hats, bags, and meeting so many excellent people. The Bakugan creation team, voice actors, elite players, and even some of the plants in the hallway. I'll put a couple links up in the description from other attendees who I met and visited with. They will probably have much more in-depth reviews and videos to take a look at if you're interested in Bakugan Armored Alliance. Me being a little bit on the novice side still is hard to communicate everything that I saw. One thing for sure, this event has encouraged me to play more, hunt for more great Bakugan Armored Alliance toys, and share this exciting game relaunch. It's been lots of fun. Well, that was a totally awesome event. What do you think, Squirrel? I thought it was fantastic. Here's hoping we see a Squirreloid next time. Yes, hopefully next time we'll see a Squirreloid. That's what we have to say about that.